good morning to all of you in this particular presentation i am going to release the weekly trend report for the nifty and bank nifty for the coming week which will be valid from 15th to 19th october and we have also given the last week's trend report and you have if you would have downloaded from our website then you would have experienced the success of this report so every week we release the trend report and if you just go to the download link of our website you can able to download this particular report so once you visit this download link download market report is there this particular report you can download from here so before going to the report i have one small announcement to make we are having one one and a half hours webinar we have scheduled one and a half hours webinar online live webinar we have scheduled and it will be in the english and hindi in these subjects so the objective of this particular webinar is to learn at least one one concept of option strategy one concept of intraday trade one concept of w d gain so which you can able to easily apply and you can take the benefit of the trading so this will be a interactive webinar and it is scheduled on 17th october and 19th october and if you free on that dates then you can register for this webinar it will cost you 199 rupees so this is the webinar schedule we have and coming to the trend report for the coming week so before going to that let us see what happened last week so if we will go to the last week data of nifty and if i just introspect that what is the low the nifty has given what is the high nifty has given you will find out that nifty has given a low of 10156 and 10509 this is the high and the low of the nifty for last week so if you just go to this report what we have published last week so this is the report we have published and if you can just look into 10156 level you have come so so that also through one gap down effect and yesterday there was a gap up effect the very remote chances to trade for that but yesterday's or the friday's high if you compare 10509 that's very close near to the third target of this uptrend and if you compare with the compare with the downtrend 10156 that also just to take to 15 point lacking from the first target of the down so this is for the nifty i'm just going to the bank nifty so this is the levels we have calculated for the last week and if you just go to the bank nifty history data for past 7 days period so past 7 days period if you just go to the historic data of the bank nifty you will get 25515 this is the level you have got 25,515. So and the low was 24,285. If I just compare it here, so the downside breakout it has not given, and above 24,658, it has gone till the fourth target or last but one target also it has achieved. So this is the success of the last week's trend report. so coming to the next week, next weeks or coming weeks trend report which will be valid from 15th to 19th october and in between also we have a holiday falling so so last weeks since there was a gap up or gap down action was there though we have achieved the target but i am not considering the last week as a successful week i am considering that gap up or gap down impact has consumed that success so out of 152 weeks 151 weeks 135 weeks success it has given last weeks levels i am not considering as a success the reason is the gap up and gap down effect almost consumed the success of these levels so 
for the coming week i am expecting about 10535 we will be having a uptrend below 10436 37 you will be having a downtrend however the initial breakout is very important if it is giving you upside breakout 10535 you must buy the nifty future along with the 10500 put and i have given the process once the first target hits you should trail your stop loss to 0.382 level once the second target hits trail your stop loss to 0.5 level so like this way go on trailing if trailing triggers come out or if you are satisfied with the profit also come out it is not necessary that you just go on trailing it and the trailing stop loss should trigger trailing stop loss is a mechanism is used to enhance your profitability however if you are satisfied with the profit better to come out of the trade if it is first target or second target it gives you a decent profit then book it and come out but you must hedge it so here 10500 put i am suggesting you to hedge and in the downtrend breakout given then 10450 call option you need to buy and this 10450 call option should be used for hedging the short trade so you will be selling at 10437 and 10450 you will be hedging the call option so same trailing stop loss mechanism i used here if you are hitting the first target trail your stop loss to 0.382 second target trail your stop loss to 0.5 level like this so coming to the bank nifty we are expecting i am expecting the level above 25600 you will get a level till 26372 great volatility is there and if you fail to or if you fall below 25115 then you have all probability to fall back to 24377 so same modality you use for the trading if you are buying here use the 25600 put option to edge if you are selling here at 25000 one 115 then you should use that 25100 call option as your hedge so since you are hedged so for your buying trade the stop loss will be 25115 for your selling trade the stop loss will be 25596 the hedging will take care of this huge gap between the buy and sell so 170 to 75% of losses it can be recovered from the hedging component so here we are just using the definition of stop loss or the real stop loss mechanism here but along with the hedging so real stop loss says that where the price trend will change below which the price trend is going to change so that is the concept we are using so follow this report and give your feedback if any and Once again, I will remind: if you are free on the day of 17th October and 19th October, and, and if you feel that this simple, basic learning of three to four methods is going to help you in the trade, then do join this program. Thank you very much.